Welcome back my art friends. Today we are going to do a Starry Night inspired camping theme. You are going to need blue, purple, white, yellow, green, red, brown, teal, and black paint. My favorite three brushes, my baby brown brush. Um, I use about a one or a two brush. This is my medium round brush. This is a 10 inch brush. And then I also have a three fourths brush. So th this is a flat brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag handy. Let us get started. I'm gonna lay out my background colors first, and then we will start to put in all of our fun details. So I'm gonna find the center of my canvas. And I'm gonna paint a line across here. I'm gonna drop down about an inch and paint another line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this line right here. This is just gonna be a thin stretch of grass between our mountains and our water. So we're just gonna paint a small line right here. So I'm using my round brush for that. I'm gonna go ahead and wash that off and set it aside because the rest of this I'm gonna do with my medium flat brush. I like to draw my lines with my round brush. Medium flat brush, I'm gonna paint everything down here in green and these two spots are gonna be blue. Now that I've got these two air or these three, I guess two colors, four areas painted in, um, I am ready to move on to some detail work. So first things first, we are going to work on our grass. We're going to switch between our bottom and our top today so that, you know, one can dry while the other one's working. So down here with my grass, I'm going to take some yellow paint and I am going to just add some textural lines by just pulling some yellow paint across my green. You know, we're doing a starry night, which is a post-impressionist work of art. And so we want to add those brush strokes in. And as I'm pulling this across, if I want to add maybe a little bit of blue in the mix, maybe add a little bit of a low light color in here, I can add a little bit of blue. I'm just taking my medium flat brush and pulling those colors in. Wash that brush off and I'm going to do something very similar to my water that's just above it. So I'm going to take blue, white, and purple and I'm going to make these lines in here. Now if this brush is too big you can always switch to a smaller brush. But with some blue, white, and purple I'm going to add those same lines in my water. Last but not least, this ridge up here, I'm gonna darken this ridge up, so I'm not gonna add any yellow or any white. I'm only gonna go in with my green, a little bit of purple to darken it up, and maybe even some brown. Now the part of this picture that's gonna take the most time is going to be our starry night sky. But I want my sky to be totally dry so that when I go in and add my swirls, I've got a great base to work off of. So I'm gonna let this dry. When I come back, we are gonna work on our starry night sky. Okay, I have zoomed us in on the top of my painting. We are first gonna lay out our couple of stars and our moon. So I'm gonna grab my detail brush, my small brush, and I'm going to lay out my Starry Night Moon. And if you've ever seen the Starry Night Moon, it is a, um, it's a circle, watch this. So I'm not gonna fully connect the circle, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm drawing a circle. Coming up around and then I'm gonna stop. Now, 
the trick to the inner circle is the exact same thing. I'm going to start by making an inner circle that's even smaller and then connect it to there. I'm going to go ahead and paint this in white. From here, I'm gonna to switch to my medium round brush and I'm gonna lay out where my mountains are gonna go. So I'm gonna use a little bit of white paint on the top of my brush and I'm just gonna put a mountain range back here just by making a, I like to call these varied zigzag lines, okay? So it's a zigzag line, right? It's gonna go up and down and up and down, but it's gonna be varied, which means that as you go up and down, you are going to give it a couple little plateaus, maybe a little bit jagged. I don't wanna go over my moon. So I'm gonna make this one drop down really low and then come back up high. So that's gonna be my mountain line. I don't have to worry too much about it at this point. I just know that I don't have to fill any space below that in as I'm going through and adding my swirls. So my stars, I'm gonna use my fingerprint for my stars. So I put a little bit of white paint on my finger and you can lay out stars wherever you want, but you just kinda of wanna lay them out so you know where they're going to be placed so that you can appropriately drop your swirls in. So that is where I'm gonna put my stars. In fact, I'm gonna put one more star in there. I like my stars to be odd numbers. So I'm gonna put one more star right over here. That's a great place for one. Then I'm gonna start layering in my swirls. And to do that, I'm gonna use my medium round brush. I'm gonna use a mixture of blue paint white paint and a little bit of yellow paint and a little bit of teal paint to make my swirl. So watch how I do this. I'm gonna start and I'm going to make a swirl that's gonna come right down here and it's going to kind of circle this star. You do not want all of your lines to be the same. If you are a type A person, that's gonna be hard for you to do, but trust me when I say you can even make some go all the way around. It's not gonna hurt anything you're gonna make lots and lots and lots of lines. And I want you to focus on one swirl at a time. So as you're going through here and you're putting your swirls in, I'm gonna put my white in, then my dark blue, then my teal, and I'm gonna finish out with white and yellow. So my white kind of lays it out. Then when I go in with my dark blue, I get some really nice light blues that mix in as well as dark blues following these same swirls. Remember, some of these can be long lines, some can be short lines, but you definitely wanna fill that space in. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a teal color, just a little bit of teal, I don't need too much. And this teal, I'm gonna focus it right around my star. I'm not gonna pull it out anywhere else. Maybe a couple little lines for fun, but I'm not gonna go crazy with it. I think I might even add a little bit of purple in there for some darkness. I have a really dark purple and it adds some really nice depth to my painting. And I'm going to add in some more white and then top it off with a little bit of yellow. So the reason I'm adding some more white in is I do want some of these colors to blend together a little bit and that white really helps make that happen. swirl's gonna go and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So my next swirl I'm gonna have start here and I'm gonna have it come down through my mountain so I'm not gonna be able to see the bottom part of it. Then it's gonna come up here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with white I'm gonna add in my dark blue, some purple, some teal, 
and I'm going to end with that yellow and white again. Now that I have my two main swirls, I'm going to fill in my background, and for that, I'm just going to pull lines across. And you, know, you can make these lines kind of follow your swirl if you want, but they don't have to. So same thing, I'm gonna pull some lines across and then I'm gonna finish off my moon and my star. So just like I did with my swirls, I'm gonna start with white, add in my blues, my purples, and all my other colors to fill in the rest of my sky. Now, while we wait for our mountains to dry, I'm sorry, our mountains, our sky to dry, we're gonna finish off our mountains. So here are my mountains right here, and I am going to add a layer of blue to the bottom. Just a layer of blue paint to the bottom, so we're gonna mix some colors in. I'm gonna add a little bit of black to the bottom. Look at that, like four spots, and then I'm gonna mix that in. So I don't want it to be super dark, but I do want there to be a little hint of dark so that when we add our white, we get a grayish blue. All right, let's add some white in. So we are trying to paint in the style of Van Gogh post-impressionism. So that means that there are brush strokes that you can see really well. So I'm gonna start up here at the top of my mountain. I'm gonna pull these colors down in small little brush strokes coming from the top of my mountain down. And this way I can kind of clean up where the top of my mountain is. And as I pull it down and I start to hit these colors, they're gonna start to mix a little bit and I could pull some of that blue back up to my top and I can pull some of that white down to my bottom. So I have just created a mountain with some fun little peaks and valleys. If you wanna make it a little bit lighter, just wipe your brush off and pull some of that color back down again. I like to make the side of my mountain that is facing my moon just a little bit lighter so that it looks like there's a highlight on it. So I'm gonna do that with all of my mountains. I'm gonna start with white at the top and I'm gonna use small little brush strokes as I pull it down until I hit my dark and then I'm gonna add a little bit more white on the side of my mountain where my moon is. With my mountains finished and my base dry, I'm just gonna lay out where my camper's gonna go. My white paint is really, really, really dirty already. And that's okay, because I just wanna lighten up the space that my camper's gonna go, so that when I go to put my second layer of um, camper color in, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna put my camper right down here in this area, and I'm gonna put a campfire over here. So let's zoom you down just a little bit. Perfect, and let's lay out our camper. So I'm gonna make a vintage camper, and to do that, I'm just gonna start by creating a rectangle. And this rectangle can be as big as you want, but just remember it's gonna go a little bit taller than you currently make it, because we're gonna smooth out some edges. <laughs> so with that rectangle, I am then going to take the sides of it, and I'm going to just kind of curve them up and over. finger right down here at the bottom right in the middle I'm going to make a circle that is going to I'm telling you this is a small camper right it's a one axle camper it's a small circle down there for my wheel now I'm gonna let my painting dry when I come back we are gonna add our details on our star and our moon in and we're gonna work on our campfire and our moon 
All right, my painting is dry and it's ready to move on. I am going to put a second layer of white on my trailer real quick because my trailer is going to be white with a little bit of teal. So I am just going to use my medium flat brush, put a second layer of white on there. All right, with my second layer, my camper done, let's move on to that sky. Let's finish off our stars and our moon. So I am going to stick with my itty bitty baby brush for these, for the stars, because I am going to have them have small little lines. I'm gonna start in the center and I am just gonna kind of dot around. And as I pull out, I'm going to kind of leave some white lines behind. Now I am not white, yellow lines behind. And I am not going to just use yellow. I'm gonna wipe that brush off. I'm gonna grab some white and put some white lines in here. And then I'm gonna grab just a little bit of red and add just a small amount of red to this as well. And the red I'm talking about is almost none. Don't need a lot of red but it's gonna mix to make several different shades of orange, and that's what we're going for. I'm gonna do that to all of my stars, and then we'll talk about our moon. Let's focus on our moon. The moon is gonna be super similar to the stars. Um, I'm gonna use my bigger brush just to paint in the base of the moon yellow. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did with my stars. And just kind of help radiate this moon as I pull those colors out. Let's refocus ourselves on our camper and our ground. So I'm gonna paint my camper strip and I wanna have a center line just right kind of here of a teal color. And you can change your color, any color you want. Um, I just love those old vintage campers that have that. So I'm gonna use my medium flat brush and I'm actually gonna use the width of the brush to be my measuring tool. So I'm just gonna lay it down and pull it straight across. Let's talk about this campfire. So I'm gonna put a campfire right over here and I am going to lay out the center of it with my white paint. And I'm going to start with the teardrop shape. So it's got like a circle at the base of it with a triangle on the top. And from there, I can even add out a couple little arms that come up. I'm gonna use my brown paint and I am just gonna add some dots around the bottom for my logs to be. I'm gonna add a little bit of black paint on there as well, closer to the fire, and a small amount of red paint down there too. Let's start laying our flames in. So for my flames, I'm gonna keep my white base right down here at the bottom, but then I'm gonna pull on 
some yellow and a little bit of red. I want to be careful with my red because my white is still wet and if I add too much red I'm going to get a pink fire. So I'm going to go with a lot of yellow, kind of bring those flames up. In that center white, sticking with that, those lines of paint, all those brush strokes. I'm going to go in and add a little bit of red. Let's talk about my wheel base on my camper. So I do want to add a black circle around this, but I don't want it to go all the way up. So I'm actually going to draw a line straight across here of black and a circle underneath it. So everything that's below that line on my tire, I will paint black. Okay, I'm gonna let my camper dry and when we come back, we're gonna finish off the details on this fun painting. All right, I think it's about time to finish this cute little camper off. I'm going to use my baby brush with a little bit of water on it and black paint to lay out some of my details on my camper. First, I'm going to add a door and my door is gonna be a tall, skinny rectangle just to the right of the wheel. I'm gonna curve the top and bottom of these corners. I'm gonna give it a line right here down the middle. Remember, I use watered down black paint because I feel like it uh, draws a little bit easier. I'm gonna put my window in here. doorknob as well. Now on my camper I'm going to also add a window so I'm going to do a rounded window right here. And then a couple of lines so I'm just going to pull some straight lines across and these are going to be ghost lines. Sometimes you see them and sometimes you don't. I'm also going to add a small outline around the teal part of my camper. And a small curved line that goes like this. See how I'm going to turn this into my wheelbase? I'll wipe that brush off. Now I'm gonna do a mixture of white and teal on my brush to fill my windows in. So this window right here, a little bit of white and teal and the same thing with my big window. of straight lines at the top of this with white to show a little bit of a glare inside the windows of my camper I am going to add some red curtains so right here I'm just gonna draw a wavy line down and just kind of fill that in with red
I'm gonna add a black ghost line around my whole camper. And like I said before, ghost lines are lines. Sometimes you see them and sometimes you don't. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white on my wheel to show a highlight on the wheel. So just a small amount of white. Again, a ghost line. Sometimes you see it and sometimes you don't. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign my name. I'm going to pick a color that will show up in my bottom right corner. And I will put my initials right here. Remember, the only way I can see what you've made is if you post it on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. If you don't post it on our Facebook page, you will never be able to show us. So be sure that you go and join our Facebook group, Painting with a Purpose, and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually using a little bit of water on my brush to just kind of pull that black line off. It's a, kind of a fun little trick you can use. Just don't use too much water, otherwise you'll get drippies. You don't remember, or always remember friends, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Thanks for painting with me today. Have a great day.